You know what, Paul? Something that the parents of these angels will always need is for us to never forget the children. Like Eliana Torres, who you see right now, she was one of the 19 students that were killed last year. And I had the honor of speaking with her mother because of a song that a local artist wrote specifically for the parents of the victims. I think you're going to truly gain some faith after you hear this story. An 8560. Let me get in the, and I'll get you the price. Yeah, 8560. Customer service at its finest when you step foot inside this music store. I mean, this means it's going to last. Remember AKG stuff? In the mix of answering phones and people's questions about instruments and equipment. This is known as the green bullet. Manager Jay Dominguez values that human connection. Okay. <laughs> which recently led him to a destiny he'd been praying for. It was a godly thing. I mean, the odds are of them seeing me. Dominguez, a seasoned musician, sees a lot of familiar faces from the present and past. But back in March, he ran into a couple as he was looking to share the new song he wrote dedicated to the parents of the 19 children killed in the Robb Elementary School shooting. And I was passing by and I heard you well there. And I said, oh my God, you know, and so I stopped and I go, excuse me, you know? Yes, he said, I have something for you, Valdi. So he took us to go and take, he asked us to take a seat while he went to go get whatever he was going to get. So he comes back with his cell phone and he introduces us to this song. Mommy, daddy, please don't cry. Halfway through the song, they started crying really hard. I started crying because that was something that I really needed to hear. You know, with the situation and everything going on, that was something that was comforting and like it, I really needed to hear that that moment. She is Sandra Torres, the mother of 10 year old Eliana Torres, one of the 19 angels from Robb Elementary. So I said, my God, this is God sending them to me here, you know, and me hearing it and stopping because I could have just proceeded. Mixed emotions, like <clears throat> the part where the beginning part, it was like so comforting because it's a little girl talking to her daddy, to you know, to her parents, you know, telling them that they're okay and everything. And that's what I needed to hear, you know, like they're okay, you know, they're fine up there. We're all doing great here in heaven. A message perhaps only music could convey. I started writing one line and it was so, it was kind of real different because one line followed another line. I didn't even have to think about it. And another line followed the other line and started, you know, with a melody, with a guitar. Only laughter and joy. Now a father and grandfather, Dominguez says he had been out of the music scene for 20 years. He surprisingly found a guitar inside his storage thinking he had gotten rid of all his equipment and says in that moment he knew crayons from heaven would become a piece of this earth. That was my hope that I could uh, make a positive difference in, in their lives and uh, committed 80% uh, of whatever profits. I hope it generates some kind of profits. And if it does, I, you know, committed 80% to them so that they can get the majority of it all. I love her bed. Is this how it always was? No, this is a bed that she always wanted. She always wanted a prince's bed. So. Torres shared this intimate space with us. The pictures, Cinderella carriage, pink theme, showing exactly the type of little girl Eliana was. When they see her picture, I wanted everybody to know that she was since baby she was a very happy baby like always smiling of course she had her ways because she was either her way or no way but other than that like she was a very loving caring beautiful little girl she loved baseball up down left and being goofy on tiktok with her older sister <laughs> Torres can hold on to these memories, but explained the hardest part of grieving is not being able to hear her daughter's voice. Honestly, what I miss the most is every morning, the phone calls before school, letting me know that, you know, it was time to go to school already and that she loved me. And, you know, that was the very last thing she told me on that conversation was, I love you, mommy. I love you so much. And what I'd give to hear the... I love you, mommy, one more time. More colorful now. 
For now, it's through Dominguez's song that Torres will be reminded. Her little girl is singing in heaven where they'll meet again. Please don't be sad. There isn't any sorrow. Only laughter. Such a beautiful, what a beautiful tribute song. and just how it all came together. They met at the store, so I, I'm so honored and pleased that I was able to share that story with all of you. So you guys can support and download Crayons from Heaven. That You can get that on Spotify, Apple Music, and YouTube. And Paul, yes. I'm wearing purple today because that was Eliana's favorite color. And her mom gave me this really beautiful remembrance bracelet. So, you know, you don't realize how, how much this could impact someone right. until you actually meet the parents. You know you're imagining it, but meeting her was just, oh. You know, I, I think he said the right thing. It was sent from God. Totally. Yes. And Paul, you're wearing maroon as well to support yeah. you, Valdi, because mm -hmm. we are with you. And if you guys wanted to heal, hear a full version of Crayons from Heaven, here is Jay Dominguez, who will also be performing this song tonight at the Uvalde Amphitheater. Mommy, Daddy, please don't cry. We're all doing great here in heaven. The streets seem to be more colorful now with our crayons from heaven. Please don't be sad, there isn't any sorrow, only laughter and joy for all of your tomorrow. We'll be sending you letters all through the year with our crayons. 